To subtract negative numbers, what you need to do is add its opposite. So here we have an example, negative 7 minus a 7. What I would first do is put this 7 in a parentheses. That way it tells me that that is a positive 7. So then I change this to a plus and change this to negative. Adding two negatives together, you get a negative number, 14. I like to think of mon money when I'm doing this. If I owe $7, it's a negative. I borrow another $7, it's another negative. All together, I owe $14. If you owe the money, it's negative. Or if you're buying something or giving it away, it's also negative. But if you have it or someone gives it to you, then the number is going to be positive. Here we have 2 minus a negative 4. And this time you notice that they put the negative 4 in the parentheses. So we were separating the minus from the negative. So we're going to change it to add, change this to positive, and we simply add them together. You have $2, you get 4 more dollars. All together you have $6. Here's one more, negative 13 minus a negative 5. Now the only number that you change the sign of is the last number. You leave the first number as it is. So this is going to stay in negative 13. We change this to add. We change this one to positive. I owe $13 to somebody, but I pay them $5. So I still owe them money. I still owe them $8, negative 8. Now, you may not have just two numbers that you're dealing with. Once in a while, they'll give you more than that. For example, here's one of your problems. Minus negative 11, minus negative 4, plus negative 9. Now the only time you change the sign of the number is if you're subtracting. So we're going to change this one to add, and we'll also change this one to add, but we're not going to change the, the number or the positive or negative of this one because we're adding. So to add this together, I owe $11. I paid somebody, I paid them $4 back, so I still owe them $7. And then I'm going to add negative 9 to that. Boy, I really need a lot of money. So I borrowed another $9, and altogether I owe $16. That would make a negative.